Last night, the uh, two parties have reached an agreement on amendments uh, to the highway bill, and as the majority leader will indicate shortly, uh, or may already have before I came to the floor, we'll be able to move forward on that uh, later today. I'm also happy to report there are a number of strong, very strong job-creating measures in the mix. Uh, one that stands out is Senator Hoven's amendment on the Keystone XL pipeline, uh, that massive private sector project that will create 20,000 jobs almost immediately. Most Americans uh, strongly support building the pipeline. And of course, uh, the significant number of construction jobs that would come along with it. It's incomprehensible to me that the President of the United States, I read, is actually lobbying against the Keystone Pipeline Amendment. There's a report this morning that the President is personally making phone calls to Democratic senators he thinks might vote for the amendment, asking them not to. And frankly, it's hard to even comprehend how out of touch, how completely out of touch he is on this issue. I mean, think about it. At, the moment when, at a moment when millions are out of work, uh, gas prices are literally skyrocketing, and the Middle East is in turmoil. We've got a president who's up making phone calls trying to block a pipeline here at home. It's really almost unbelievable. What we're seeing in Congress this week is a study in contrast. On the one hand, you've got a Republican-controlled House that's about to pass a bipartisan jobs bill that would help entrepreneurs and innovators by getting Washington out of the way. And today, we've got a Democratic-controlled Senate trying to line up votes against amendments that would create jobs, and uh, a Democratic president lobbying against the biggest private sector job creation project in our country. So we've got an opportunity to work together to create jobs. Uh, we can do that with these amendments, and we can do that by taking up the bipartisan jobs bill the House will pass later today. And let me just say a word about that. The bipartisan jobs bill the House will pass later uh, today is supported by the President. Uh, it is ready to go, and I hope that once it gets over to the Senate, we'll simply take it up and pass it. I mean, it's an example of a measure supported by Republicans and Democrats and the President uh, that we believe will clear the House with a very large uh, majority. I think the sooner we pass that, uh, here in the Senate uh, and send it down to the President for signature, uh, the better. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.